today I'm bringing you something different for Miscellaneous Monday. Now it's not about wax, so it didn't make the Wax Wednesday column, but I'm going to be talking about two different kinds of companies that are wax companies, but they sell some of my top favorite bath products. Like these are wax companies I've spoken about so many times. I'll try to remember to maybe link throughout this video the 101 version, like my all my rundowns for each of these companies. Um, but before we get started, I'm going to share with you guys what's on my nails. It's almost on its way out again. Like this is Sunday. This is the day I do my nails. <laughs> so um, it's an off-white ever so slightly. I've been trying to find the first fitting, which you guys have recommended, and it's sold out everywhere. So clearly that is a great white color from Essie Gel Couture. This is still an Essie Gel Couture, but this color is in pre-show jitters. Sorry, there you go with the light. Um, it's slightly pink. I like it, but I really want to get my hands on the first fitting. So that's what's all over my nails. Also a quick disclaimer, if you hear the washing machine in the background, my apologies. It's Sunday. I'm trying to get laundry ready for the rest of the week. And yeah, <laughs> it's not too loud, but if you hear something like that, that's likely what it is. Okay, so now today we're gonna to be talking about Zape bath care products and the Bathing Garden bath care products. Um, with the Bathing Garden, I have two different types of items that I absolutely adore and 100% recommend, um, and we will get to that, but we're gonna jump into Zape first. So I have actually three different things. I'm just gonna show you one of each, um, and then we'll get started. I have a lot of one of, the, one of these types. <laughs> as you'll see shortly. So Zape, again, like I mentioned before, is a wax melt or like wax company, but they do amazing bath and body care. So these are the three items that I love. So we have a topic of whipped soap, and then we have a body butter sugar scrub, and then down here we have a sugar whip. And so they are three different items that she sells. She sells many more items on her website for bath and body care, but these are my absolute top favorite. Before we get actually starting on what I have in my collection, because that's what I'm gonna show you today, she does sell these little lids, which I love. So she sells you separately and they fit on, basically unscrew the cap here and you stick this on and it makes a really nice one-handed flip it up, grab what you need do what you need, that kind of thing. I love these. Um, I definitely don't wanna be without them because the screw tops are great. But what I will say is with one hand, you can't do it with one hand. You have to use both hands to unscrew it and put it off to the side and yada yada. So anyway, I really do enjoy this. I do suggest picking these up. Um, I think it comes in a pack of two, I'm not sure. But pick up a set of these. I'd say two is good for rotation, especially if you love and enjoy her. Um, items and you have multiples of like say you have um, a sugar oh a, a sorry let's say you have a sugar whip and a whip soap so in the going at the same time you definitely want two of these okay so back to these so the big difference is obviously there's one there's two of them that sound like they're sugar scrubs and I'll describe to you guys the differences there but first of all with the whip soap I have spoken time and time again whip soaps from the, this vendor as well as the next vendor we're going to talk about um they are amazing there's a ton of product in here uh i love using this to shave my legs some people love it just like instead of a bar of soap which they find very stripping of any moisture they love these because there's a lot of really good moisturizing properties in it um it does actually lather within the loofah if you have a loofah you just put a lot of water you know that kind of thing you, you gather a lather it's a very nice lathering whip soap um, this is one of my top favorite things from any vendor. Um, I find shaving my legs. I hate shaving my legs, but I do find that this makes the process so much easier. Um, it does not clog my razor. That's the number one thing I want to say too. It does not clog the razors. So whip soaps are wonderful. Now the two here that are different, but yet very similar. We have sugar whip and we have body butter sugar scrub. Now I do have a favorite between these two. So with the beach, like this is just beach bum. We'll, we'll talk about all the ones I have in my collection, but with the Sugar Whip, this one is the most lovely, actually gonna do some, like there's definitely sugar in there. And I love to use any of the scrubs on the bottoms of my feet. Of course, I also tried, you know, sometimes use it on the back of my arms, that kind of thing. But really I use a good chunk of this each time I have a shower and I scrub the bottom of my feet because my feet are very dry. It helps with getting some of the dry patches off, you know, all that fun stuff. But um, the Sugar Whip here, I find really, really great consistency. I have tried the Lush Sugar Scrub, 
horrible. It's watery. It's your, it's far too expensive for what I don't feel like. I feel like the Lush version um, and the, the Body Shop version, it just falls between your fingers before you actually get to use them and enjoy them and actually use them for the proper reason, the reason why you bought them. This on the other hand is really nice crystallized sugar that's really gonna break down and it melts away. Like in your warm or hot shower, it's going to melt away as well. Um, I don't say I get any um, uh, bubbles, like there's not a soap property, like it says soap and scrub, but I don't really get a lot of the soap bubbles, if you will, but rather I really do get this for the bottom of my feet. Now, the difference between that scrub and this scrub is this is the body butter sugar scrub. So the consistency of this one is a little bit buttery, um, more moisturizing, so a little less scrubby. So if I were to pick between the two, they're virtually the same, but this one just has way more amazing properties for moisturization, things like that. Um, I would definitely, for my feet, pick the Sugar Whip, but for the rest of my body, however, I would definitely do the Body Butter Sugar Scrub. I feel like, again, you can walk away with scrubbing your legs and things like, like get a good scrub on your legs before you shave. So like the leg hairs, if you scrub first, if your leg hairs will come up a bit and then you shave your legs so you get a closer shave. So anyway, I would probably use this more on my body and this one definitely on the bottoms of my feet. So now let's go through the different collections or what I have from each of these. So first of all, we're gonna talk about the different sugar whips I have. Now I don't have scent note descriptions. I really do wish they would have some sort of description on here, but there is none, just the ingredients list, which is great. Anyway, so we have Beach Bum. So it's very summery, very fruity, lovely. I love this one. And I only have two other ones. Another summer one is Toes in the Sand, which is an OG of Ashley's, who is the owner and creator of Zape Wax. Um, and body care and uh, this is also really nice so I've been really saving these two for the summertime but one that I was super excited about which I haven't dipped into yet maybe I might have to hold on to this until like late fall next year this is Victorian Lace Sugar Whip look at the glitter in there oh my god I'm like so excited I am so excited I will use this on my feet I love this it smells just like Victoria's Secrets uh, vanilla lace and I am so excited to try that one but I think I might have to wait till probably late fall of 2022 to get into that one so we'll also go on to this one here which I've already sort of saw you saw this one in the video this is um 1313 Mockingbird Lane to be honest with you I can't remember the smell I don't like to open these until I'm ready to use them because you know I want to keep them as sealed up as I possibly can but this was part of her Halloween collection and I do have a few other ones here too we have the uh, yum yum again very summery very fruity very like beautiful summertime scent that I would 100% recommend this is the body butter sugar scrub just like the other one but in the yum yum scent and then we also have Poison apple, so you can imagine this is a very like red delicious apple, body butter sugar scrub. So I would save this one for the fall. I would love to get into this one for the summer. That one probably towards the fall as well. I could probably go through the sugar scrubs and the sugar whips, a jar of these in three weeks. These ones I go through very, very quickly, but what we're gonna talk about next does take me a lot longer. So let's just show you the original one that I showed you at the beginning of the video. So this is 1313 Mockingbird Lane whipped soap. So I will take a long, these are rather large jars. This will take me a while. I strictly use these for shaving my legs. Now I just shave my legs. In the winter time, I shave them a little less often. In the summertime, I shave them almost every single time in the shower. So it kind of comes and goes, but generally this will take me like a month or two, probably two months to go through because you don't need very much. Um, you know, like I said before, it doesn't clog your razor, but obviously if you put too much on, it can definitely clog your razors. But I put enough just to get a good lather, a nice lather of soap and moisturizing properties and I shave my legs. So I have this one in 1313 Mockingbird Lane. I have so many more, you guys, there's so many. Um, you'll see some doubles here. We have Victorian Lace, of course. I love that one, <laughs> as you can tell. Cupcake, really nice and sweet. It's very girly. Then we have Yum Yum Whip Soap. You can see that I tried to marry up or pair up a lot of the different soaps so that I would have a soap and a scrub at the same time. Then we have Beach Bound right here, waiting for summer to use that one. And then again, you see Beach Bum, which we had an, also another pair over here of that one. Also a great one for summer, but like I'm probably in the summer, I probably only go through two of these. 
<laughs> in the hot summer months. Toes in the Sand, another lovely, beautiful, love this one. This is an OG, of course. So now we're going to go into Halloween. Halloween. I'll probably use these next couple, including the 1313 Mockingbird Lane. This is her Jack-O-Lantern Whip Soap. And the last one is, of course, the match. This is Poison Apple Whip Soap to match the scrub from earlier. And then I just have just, that's a lot. Like from here over are all the whip soaps so far. And I still have three more to tell you just from this company. Then we have um, Santa Baby. So this is part of her Christmas line. So that might be something I bring out this Christmas. Um, then we have Candy Canes, which I had the wax melt in that one. And it's nice, it's beautiful peppermint. Love it. And this is Boo Nilla Scream. So this is part of the Halloween one as well. And I actually did use the scrub for that one. Delightful. Really enjoyed it. So now we're going to talk about the bathing garden. So I'm going to show you the samples I have first of all. So if you order from the bathing garden and you spend over $100 American, um, you will get like a full free a full size free sample of something. And sometimes she throws in some little extras. She, she's very generous with uh, her samples, let's, let's put it that way. But I did purchase this one, Vanilla Snowballs and Peppermint uh, Bows. This is the oil sugar scrub. So I'm gonna be talking about the sugar scrubs and the whipped soaps, but these ones are both samples. This is Elf's Morning Blend, but this is in the whipped soap. So basically the consistency of all of her sugar scrubs I'm gonna to talk to you about today from the bathing garden, the coconut oil sugar scrub are the same consistency as the sugar whip from Zape that are my favorite, like consistency from Zape. So, but they're gonna see different size jars. Anything I'm gonna to talk to you about, about the bathing garden <laughs> um, when it comes to the whip soap. The, the whip soaps are all coconut oil too. And they're also what I use to shave my legs. I've been saving this one because I've got some traveling to do this summer. So I'm hoping that maybe these are smaller sizes for me to keep traveling. So I'm gonna kind of keep those to the side. So now we're gonna break down the sugar scrubs and the whip soap. So let's do the sugar scrubs first. So this is a rather large scrub. This is in Winter Palace, which is my absolute favorite scent. Oh my gosh, I love this one. This is again, everything we're gonna talk about is from the bathing garden. This is a sugar scrub, a creamy sugar scrub, it says. I'm not opening any of these again because I don't want to open them until I use them. But this is in a scent that I absolutely adore and love. You guys have heard me talk about Winter Palace for a very, very long time. I like this size. I'm a little saddened that the, she does these small ones because I wish they were all this size. I don't know, I'm like weird like that, but I kind of wish they were all this larger size, which I'm not exactly sure the size of it. I put the dates on the bottom that I received them. That's what I do. Um, I think this is like eight ounce and this is like six ounce or five, four. I don't even know. I think it's like, I don't even know. So the next one we have is Blackberry Fudge Coconut Oil Sugar Scrub. Again, the consistency of these ones from the Bathing Garden are just like the Sugar Whip from Zape, which I love. I don't feel like I'm losing a bunch of the product through my finger before I've actually tried to use it. Like it doesn't go through my fingers. Um, I, I feel like it gives me a good scrub. It gives me a great effect. I absolutely love the scrubs 100% and I have purchased and repurchased these scrubs. So Blackberry Fudge, also a great scent. They're all wax melt scents as well. Same with Zape. So Sleepy, another OG from the Bathing Garden. This is absolutely beautiful. Love this one and I should probably use it. I got it in July last year. I should really try. <laughs> I should really be using these. I'm trying to use them in rotation as to when I got them, you know, <laughs> trying. Um, Mandarin Blossom. I think this was a free full size item that I received because it's not something that I would normally have purchased, but I'm very thankful for that, that she gave me that to try. Manager, fl Manager Flamingo, which is, ah, is it Alice in Wonderland? I don't know, it's like this time this year this particular collection is out. So this actually might be out now, I think. Yeah, I got, I picked this up in July or I received it in July. So that's another one, really good one. And now we're gonna talk about whip soap. So just like the whip soaps here, what we're gonna be talking about from the bathing garden, delicious, delectable, delightful, don't eat it, but it smells amazing. I use them strictly to shave my legs again, but you can use them in a loofah and anything like that. You can use it over your body. It's just a really nice, um thin soap like um it's a um, almost a buttery almost feeling but i love these ones so this is caterpillar mischief 
and these are shea oil whipped soaps so i know that some of the people some people are allergic so of certain things whether it's coconut or whatnot so it's always good to look at the ingredients list when you go online this is manager flamingo so i got that matching the sugar scrub i have a winter palace whipped soap you guys know i love it i can't be without it it's one of my favorites then we have a uh, knave of hearts which i believe was out for valentine's day it may still be on her website i would double check with this one but yeah love 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 and then we have keeper temp keep your temper um this one's a coconut oil based so this my friends these, this is a lot <laughs> But this is what I have and this is what I love. You know, when you try a bunch of things and you realize that you, what you don't like in certain things and what you like in certain things, I love all of this. This is definitely my jam. I basically tell everybody about this particular, these two brands with what they have for scrubs and um, whip soaps, 100% recommend you guys. So if you like this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and Definitely subscribe down below if you haven't already. And as always, you guys, be safe, take care, and have fun. Bye, guys.